I know you've been wanting to get to this because you've been you've been needling me with it yeah. for a little while now. You want to get to the climate change thing because oh. you just read uh, a book I wrote several years ago. Yeah, yeah. Which has an attack at someone who attacked yeah, me yeah, on yeah. climate change. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that there's no way you can deny that there's climate change. Uh, I have completely changed on that. Although completely changed is a little bit confusing yeah. because I never went beyond, I don't know. Yeah. What bothers me about the climate change thing mm-hmm. uh, was a, the great disservice mm. done by Al Gore yeah. of exaggerating. Yeah, no, it's and always- We a have way. to scare people. We have to do this. And I hate the fact that style affected me, but the kind of people- who were talking about it were the kind of people that were so dismissive mm-hmm. of people that I loved that, that I I bridled. You had an, um, you had an emotional right. reaction. It was very very emotional, and also the fact, and this is this is true for everything, yeah. which is why I don't know why it's special, but it feels special. Mm. I just don't have you know my friend Tim Jennison mm-hmm. took a deep dive into mm-hmm. climate change, mm-hmm. and Tim is really smart uh-huh. and tim has the um the the resources uh-huh. to be able to take six yeah, months and do nothing yeah. else okay he it's can nice do that it's a nice job if you can get it yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he said it's too hard so i have to admit that i am taking climate change strictly uh, on authority fair, and pure fair. peer pressure and saying that sentence bothers me. And yet I do it on everything else. Yeah, we all do it on everything else. But I think you could, let me try and reassure you a little bit. We can't be experts at everything, right? So we have Mm -hmm. to take into car mechanics. uh, But but what you can always ask yourself, if you're a skeptic, is say, okay, look, I I don't have the time, resources, or or background to be able to necessarily test everything this person tells me. But you can ask yourself the question, what's in it for them? And, and is is there a reason for them to lie to me? Is there a reason for them to fabricate? Is there a reason? And I think you, those are the kind of questions you can ask. But those mm-hmm. that question gets the exact wrong answer that you want from me. Okay, why? Because there's a lot of reasons. Um, any sort of doomsaying of any kind is really, really sexy. Discovering the end of the world and how to it fix is, it makes you a superstar and a hero. There's also always money in it. Well, no, where's where's the money? I mean, for most of you got look. There's a few people who are become public figures, and that's a different thing. But there are thousands of scientists who are just mm-hmm. doing this, you know, working on their models yeah, yeah. on a computer model, and they're not whatever the answer at the end of the thing. They're not going to get more money if it's one thing or another. Yeah. In fact, as I've you know, if they if their computer model and it's well done, shows something dramatically different than the rest of the crew, and they yeah, can yep, defend yep, it, yep. then they become then they become right. famous. Yes, and so true. so there's every reason to try and go against the tide in science. Mm-hmm. And so, but, you, know, you know all this yeah, I know, I, know. I don't need to. But I also think, and I, I guess this is just, I think it was okay uh, when Al Gore was doing all that lying to go, uh, I don't know. For a few months. Well, no. For maybe I, a year. It's always, look, it's always right to, I th- I mean, I can sympathize with that, I think. Uh, well, of course and, I know, can. you know, the fact but, that he, he did. He, well, the fact that people oversimplify, well, and the question is, do you know it knowingly? I Here's my, look, I spend a lot of time explaining, trying to explain science, and there are lots mm-hmm. of reasons why I think it's worthwhile doing. I have very low standards in terms of what I can, what I find acceptable. I mean, the bar when I, when I, when I, when I castigate something is just simply this. I'm when I'm explaining something, I know I'm misleading at some level because I never, unless you do the exact mathematics, whatever analogy I'm providing always fails somewhere. Well, analogy as long, is never true. Exact, as long, but if I'm careful to say that, to say where it's not accurate, mm-hmm. that's fine. But the one thing that I have no tolerance for, and I know a lot of people, I'm not going to name names, um, is to knowingly mislead. But here's how I get beat up, Mm -hmm. okay? Uh, We did a thing called uh, uh, um, Comic Relief for Homeless. Sure, yeah, With Robin Williams, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And there was this whole speech in there that said anyone can become homeless. Mm -hmm. It's not just if you're mentally ill. It's not just if you're on drugs. It's not just this. This could happen to anybody or your family any day. But I said, 
To Robin, that's not true. Oh, well. That's really not true. More, a great number of the homeless people do have mental illness issues. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. A great number. Yeah. It's not true that it hits people at random. No, no, And no. there's no way doing but, it. But there's things that can happen to you they have no control right. of. Right, but yeah. what I'm talking about is they were saying, well, that helps us have more compassion for people. Oh, I see. And I was saying, no, 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 no. We just tell the truth. These people need help. help Let's yeah, help them. Yeah. The exact same thing happened. Uh, we started an organization called Broadway Cares, mm -hmm. which is for uh, uh, people uh, suffering uh, with AIDS. Yeah. And it was in the 80s. It was very early on, uh, very early on. And I was in all these meetings. And they would say, we have to stress that this is not gay. This is not drug users. This is everybody. I mean, and this is going to be moving to the straight population yeah. right away. Mm -hmm. And I say... Um, well, we don't know that. Mm -hmm. So far, it is drug users and it is yeah, gay. Yeah. And uh, we can tell people that. And they said, no, 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 we won't get any help from people if we do that. We have to scare everybody with that. And I said, no, no, we, we can't. You, no. And they'd say, and, 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 and I'm now quoting, so please forgive me, you're not going to get America to care about a bunch of faggots. Okay. And I said, well, maybe they do. Maybe maybe there is a love out there. You can't assume. And they said, we have to say it's going to everybody. Uh, so there were all these shows in the 80s saying, you know, it's going to move into yeah. the straight population this amount of time. And their point of it was we need to help people. It was done for compassion. And then I was asked to do VO when I was on uh, Comedy Central. Mm -hmm. And they said, um, uh, this much rainforest is being destroyed every day. But mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Yeah. And there was just a series of numbers I yeah, was giving. Yeah, yeah. And this studio wasn't ready, mm -hmm. which is their only mistake. <laughs> and I went through and I did the mathematics, yeah, okay. the, the arithmetic, not yeah. mathematics, arithmetic. Just, just yeah. did it. Yeah. And I said, this, this actually doesn't play out. Uh -huh. You just said the number of acres yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah. and I just yeah. multiplied it out. And it's just yeah. wrong. <laughs> and they said, doesn't matter. And I said, well, no. It does. It kind of does. does. And they said, well, we got this from the, it does. I said, well, just let them tell me. Let me call somebody because I'm not good at this. Yeah. But there might be something wrong here. Yeah. And they said, doesn't matter. Just do the VO. And I said, fuck you. <laughs> and that's, I just left. Well, no, that's, you know, that's, uh, you see, that's your damn problem. You're just too honest. But, so, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm, I, you know, I have to. Con I, but I, what I, I'm saying you is. You are one of the most honest people I've ever met. But what I'm saying is. Al Gore, please, for the love of Christ, you've got something that could be the end of the world. Don't cheat. Do not cheat.